Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim, and welcome to Deutschland. Ladies and gentlemen, this map is an absolute masterpiece, in my opinion. It is gorgeous. This has been created as a collaboration between Italian mod designer Edo Mod, who is responsible in the past for such maps as the Map Italia and the Land of Italy, and also a particularly beautiful Fiat Agri 18190 tractor mod that is uh, one of my favourites, uh, and Sbafo Farming. So yeah, it is an absolute work of art. You can download it from Edo Mod's official website, www.edomod.it forward slash Deutschland. I will, of course, put a link in the video description below for that. Uh, the map itself can be downloaded in standard form, or it does also come with a medium resolution texture pack and a high resolution texture pack, I guess, depending on uh, the capabilities of your computer system. Now, this map, Currently, as we speak, on its day, is it's actually been released today, uh, Saturday the 25th of May 2024. Uh, this is PC only. Uh, there is mention on his website of a cross-platform version, but that, as we stand right now, has not been confirmed. So, what a place. This is utterly beautiful. Forgive me for repeating myself, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, I've started us off in new farmer mode. This is pretty much where you start off, on uh, just next to the train platform here. Now I have got the high resolution texture pack installed on this uh, in this map. Uh, the high resolution and medium resolution texture packs do uh, cost about the, a couple of euros, as much as it takes for a, a, a cup of coffee, I guess. Um, but for supporting this kind of this level of quality of work, it's uh, it's a no-brainer if you ask me. It really is. So, before we delve into too much detail about the map and we go into the map PDAs and have a bit of a tour around, I'll give you a quick rundown uh, of the map in general from the uh, information that is on Edo Mo's website. So, the map itself contains 54 cultivatable fields. It has 10 grassy fields, it has 8 forest areas, 15 red and white grape vineyards, 
two purchasable houses. The map is multi-terrain angle ready. It is Maze Plus compatible. It is Wopster's manure system ready. And it is also ready for the animal grazing add-on. Uh, and one of the very special things that I personally like about this map is that every single building has been made from scratch exclusively for this map. Let's just stand back a minute while the train passes. There we go. The map consists of, it has three main farms on the map. Uh, one called Meinzerhof, one called Linden, Lindenhof and one called Mundenhof which is uh, labelled as a premium cattle ranch. The extra crops that are contained within the map, we have white grapes, we have rye, we have spelt. Now rye and spelt are both harvestable from your normal grain headers. And we also have green rye on the map as well, which uh, from what I've been led to, to understand after looking into it, uh, you access that, you, you gain that using a forage harvester. So, without further ado, let's jump into the map PDA. Right, okay. Here we are, welcome to the map PDA everybody. Now first and foremost what you might see is we are met with a few unique icons as it were. The uh, the, the the three main farms on the map are clearly labelled the areas A, B and C. And if you can see from the uh, right hand side of the map PDA here, farm A, mines are off. Now this is the farm that you start off with in new farmer mode. You have farm, farm B, Mundenhof, premium cattle ranch and farm C, Lindenhof. So farm A, as you can see, consists of a farm silo, you have a sleep trigger and you have a workshop. Farm B, again, farm silo, workshop, and it looks like it contains all the animals that you can have on the game. We have cows, we have sheep, we have chickens, and we have pigs. Now I haven't bought this land yet. I will throw a little bit of money into the bank account very shortly when we've uh, run through this PDA and we'll purchase these areas and see what they all contain. But And farm C, which is up here in the top right corner of the map, you have the farm silo, a sleep trigger, a workshop, the biogas plant, and some cows. So, as you can see, also the uh, areas are relatively clearly labelled out. So, forestry, obviously labelled with these trees here, so there's quite a few of these. I think the, uh, the information previously said there was eight. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yep, there we go. We have a chicken farm down here, which we will purchase very shortly. And in new farmer mode, as we have started here, if I bring up the farmland, this is the area that you start off with. So we have one field, which I believe presently is grass. Yep, we have a grass field there. And that's pretty much it. And it's uh, directly behind us, so we'll... Uh, We'll pop into our new farmer farm very shortly but over here as you can see we have a vast vineyard empire going on with the wine cellar we will uh, obviously take a look at that very shortly because that's quite an interesting production system um now there are there's a couple of production systems on the map obviously we have the vineyards we have that there we have a sawmill we have a bio bakery or bakery uh, there's a place to sell your wood chips there is a grain cell point there we have a gas station of course now these are this is the vehicle shop down here with a workshop we have a dairy we have a uh, a place for selling your bales and we have the livestock market there over here to the right of the map we have what i believe is another grain cell point not too sure what that is i think that's a, a guest house a hotel of some description where we can sell some produce we have a water feed tr a water trigger here we have another grain mill and up here we have the biogas plant, the BGA Lindenhof. So that's pretty much what I can see from production systems and labels on the map there. Now, one of the things I really do appreciate about this map is the variety of the shapes and sizes of the fields. Now, this is a one times map, uh, so there's quite a lot crammed into here, to be honest. Now, obviously, most of the fields, they're not massive, huge fields like we might be used to on big American maps but they're a very interesting size. We have a, a variety of crops on here. Now this map does support the premium expansion. So we do have the carrots, we have red beets, and we have parsnips on the map as well as the additional crops that this map has uh, brought on board. So that's a brief rundown of the map PDA. Let's jump out now and go and have a look at the new farmer farm. So, almost directly behind us from where we start off in uh, the beginning of your game on this map, 
you are met with this quite frankly gorgeously quaint little German town and it is absolutely gorgeous. Now like I said before I have the high resolution texture pack installed on this map and it really does stand out. It is absolutely beautiful. Just look at the detail and the, the attention and the love that has gone into making this map. It really is staggering if you, uh, if you ask me. Sorry, won't get in the way, although I think there's quite a large buffer around the player here, so the, the traffic stops quite far quite far away from you. And that's one little detail that I do appreciate about this map, actually, while I've been uh, running around exploring it. The traffic moves nice and slowly. It's not. It doesn't whiz around too fast. It's, uh, they seem to keep to the speed limit here in Germany, <laughs> which I, I, must, I must say I must appreciate. I do appreciate that. So, anyway, this is the main door to the starter farm. So... Let's open this up and you are greeted with your quite frankly beautiful little uh, farmyard here. Now of course this map does contain uh, Edo Mod's custom uh, triggers as it were. As you can see here this is the sleep trigger. All of the areas on the map to fill the, the tip triggers everything look a bit like this. They have this animated coloured band around them instead of the usual uh, blue circle that we've all been used to. Uh, throughout Farm Sim 22. But yeah, really, really nice attention to detail there. So as you can see, they all work perfectly. There you go. So, starting equipment. This is... Uh, we haven't got a huge amount of stuff when you start a new farmer mode. You have this uh, Mercedes-Benz MB Track 1100 tractor. Which is a very nice thing. As uh, We have this the Deutsche D6206. Nice open cab old uh, tractor. We have a Pottinger baler. We have a tether around the back here. We have got a, a, a weight there, front weight there. And around the corner here, we have ourselves a bit of front loader equipment for the Deutsche tractor, a bale handler. We have a mower. And we have a windrower and a bale trailer. That's pretty much it. Now, the one field that you do start with, which is just down here, is a field of grass. So you start with, if I bring up the heads up display, you start with £100,000, euros, as we are, are no doubt used to, uh, and you start with this grass field here. So I suppose if you were to be starting from scratch, on, as we are on New Farmer here, uh, the first job you'd have to do is get your field mode and potentially uh, start a bit of silage work, perhaps. I suppose that's entirely down to you, how you want to start. But yeah, the buildings, every single one of them has been... Uh, designed from scratch for this map and they are all absolutely gorgeous they really are it really has taken me this map i must admit i'm uh, considering starting to do something on it i must uh, must admit don't know what yet but we shall see now one thing that did go through my mind when i first heard about this map recently and uh, downloaded it and stuff i know that we are we're not, we're not at the end of uh, Farm Sim 22, but as we all know, as we are now in uh, May 2024, um, word is getting around about the potential release, p potentially at the end of the year, of a, of a possible new new version of the game, Farm Sim 25. Um, and the fact that we are getting maps like this at this uh, stage of life of Farm Sim 22, is a, it, it was a, it's a good thing, of course, but I, I was also thinking, oh, you know... You, got farm sim 25 kind of round the corner um and it seems like a bit of a shame because as soon as farm sim 25 comes along a lot of people are going to be jumping ship and going straight onto the new game but again popping very quickly into the map pda they thought about this <laughs> i can't imagine that edo mod and Bafo farming would want to put so much time and effort and uh, love and resources as it were into creating this beautiful map for it to then become null and void in a few months time but no Looks like they're going to be carrying this on into Farm Sim 25, which is excellent news, if you ask me. It really is. So uh, this isn't going to be lost to the annals of history when Farm Sim 25 comes out. And that's a good thing, if you ask me. So, forgive me anyway. Right, so this is one of our farm sheds that we own as well, down here. A nice big old stone unit, multiple doors, multiple uh, areas to put some machinery. Now, of course... I suppose this is going to be as, as you as you build up your farm because the the few amounts of machinery we've got is uh, neatly stashed over there. Um, now this workshop 
we don't actually own this at the minute when you start in new farmer mode again jumping into the map pda bringing up the farmland this area in the middle here you don't actually own so you can buy it i don't actually have enough money as we speak yet but we'll uh, we'll put some money into the bank in a moment um but yeah another workshop for some even bigger equipment it looks like so we can't actually interact with that until we own it but we'll sort that out and each of the three farms does have these lovely custom signs here so obviously mines a hof uh, and there's one outside the mundenhof and the lindenhof as well so this is our grain silo again labeled with our lovely custom uh, icons here the grain unloading area and the grain loading area really nice old wooden silo now this has a capacity i believe of 200,000 liters so it's pretty uh, pretty big and capacious enough to start us off so yeah this is the starter farm so let's uh, take a bit of a journey now we're going to jump into a vehicle i might actually get uh, I'll st i'm going to stick some money into the bank now and uh, make a few purchases so we own a bit of the land around the map around the map and uh, we'll go on a bit of a tour Right, I have stuck a load of money in the bank account. As you can see now, we are now a multi-millionaire. I've purchased a couple of tractors, uh, and I have also purchased this uh, workshop that uh, we didn't own a few seconds ago. So, as you can see, we have the custom interactive zone markers on display, uh, and I just wanted to highlight, again, this really nice little attention to detail that uh, Edo Mod and Espafo have put into this map, is uh, if we go over to the management point here for the workshop now i haven't I've, I've on purpose i have left the tractor outside of the interactive zone marker there and i've also very quickly for this demonstration uh, for the purposes of this demonstration purchased us a nice big twin wheeled fent 1050 up here also not sat within the confines of the uh, interactive zone marker there but if you go down to the management point there we go. You can work on and customise both of those vehicles that are essentially under the roof of this workshop. So I'm pretty sure that anything you park in here, you'll be able to uh, work on in one go. So that's a really, really nice little thing to have to do. Instead of having to, instead of having to constantly just put your tractor within the... Uh, or put your machinery within the confines of the interactive zone marker. I think that's a really nice little attention to detail. Right. Anyway, so... Let's get this door open. We're going to jump in this tractor. Now, this is Edo Mods Fiat Agri. I thought this was quite a very apt vehicle to uh, run a map tour in. It's an absolute beauty. It does come... Uh, you can download it from the same website, obviously, uh, that if you if you went to get this map from Edo Mods' official website. Uh, this tractor does come with a plethora of skins, uh, and I also... I always tend to go for what is, what is termed as a, a destroyed terracotta look, I think it is, so the, the wheels look really old and... Uh, knackered the paintwork does as well and I just, I just absolutely love it it's one of my most favorite tractors on the game and it makes a beautiful noise as well it really does so let's go for a drive up the hill here I think the next place we are going to come across is the Mundenhof right the Mundenhof as displayed by that lovely sign there. Let's uh, take a quick journey around the corner here to the uh, little yard. Jump out and open the gate. There we go. Beautiful sliding gates as well. Love that. So, what do we have at the Mundenhof? Well, initially, you are met with on the left here, we have another lovely, nice, big workshop. Let's turn that noisy thing off for a second pop the door and of course as we've just seen previously at the other farm we have our farm workshop so there we go nothing's in here of course but nice big and spacious what have we got over here that's just another dividing wall isn't it yeah i'm just checking that this wasn't some form of bunker silo but no it's not just a nice big dividing wall I and mean, that's all pretty awesome on its own isn't it <laughs> so yeah over here in front of us we have another farm silo Now this one is slightly larger than the previous one this has a capacity of 500,000 litres again similar in design but it's nicely nicely set within this workshop as well so it's, you can see the pipe work there the feed pipes 
all of this custom made for this map it is absolutely beautiful it really is so let's uh, wander through the door here first have a look at what's going on in here again plenty of areas to store your machinery now what we have over here we have one of these automated pallet stacking uh, areas which i think is really cool i have placed this uh, pallet of seed down just to very quickly demonstrate it now i haven't got a, a telehandler or a forklift truck or anything on the farm for the purposes of this demonstration so i shall just cheat it and use the lumberjack mod super strength so if we pick up the seed pallet here you can say obviously we can just pretend that we're loading it with a uh, tally handler but if i just lob it up there it, as you can see it automatically disappears and as you can see if i just very quickly jump into flight mode it automatically places itself up here now you can fill this area up with whatever pallets you need and when you go down to the management point here it says it's there and if you just click on that it spawns it back down there again so that's really quite cool a lovely little uh, mechanism to work with on the farm excellent stuff so let's go out the door here now this is the animal area so first of all over in this little corner here the animal loading and unloading area this is our typical animal dialogue so this is an area for chickens so let's uh, what does this take this takes 40 chickens so let's buy 40 chickens yep there we go and really nicely they're all just wandering free around the yard which i think is a really really nice touch over in this little corner here we have the pig barn again forgive me for repeating myself ladies and gentlemen but it is just the detail is just absolutely beautiful it's a, i can't imagine the amount of time that has gone into creating this map uh, as you can see there the area there area to provide straw so that's where we put some straw in there Let's uh, open the animal dialogue. We'll just buy, this takes 50 pigs. So let's just stuff it with 50 pigs for now. There we go. And they're all in their little enclosures here. Lovely stuff. We can turn on the lights. Little bulkhead lights there dotted around the ceiling. Excellent stuff. And over here we have, now I think this is, Cows, I think again beautiful building so let's just wander down the hill here because I think there is a animal trigger buy point somewhere down here as you can see we have a slurry storage point manure storage point we have a management point here which can't seem to do anything with it at the minute maybe that's because there is no manure and slurry in there ah right now here we are forgive me ladies and gentlemen here we are so let's open this gate and this is the sheep area. So, capacity for 20 sheep. Let's get those purchased. There we go. Excellent stuff. Your area for unloading your animal feed is just in there. I mean, you can't really miss those things, can you? Nice and uh, fluorescent green and yellow. Beautiful, though, eh? Really, really nice. And over here, yep, this is the cow area. So, the area for per the trigger for purchasing the cows is just over here let's do just that now this takes 80 cows let's go for the traditional holsteins let's fill it up with 80 cows i don't know we'll just call it 50 for now for the purposes of the demonstration there we go lovely custom pasture there on the hill lovely stuff now, of course, you have the similar over here with the cow barn. You have a similar uh, auto storage point here, which could be useful for your bales for the cows. You have a water point. There is a, another management point here, which I can't seem to in, be able to interact with at the minute. I'm not too sure what that's for. But either way, this one over here was, uh, again, just for the lights. Uh, oh, you can open tents. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Goodness me, forgive me. I didn't see that before. You can turn on the lights again the bulkhead lights up in the ceiling there or you can close the uh, close the blinds as it were very very nice very nice indeed so and you also have over here what i think is a silage bunker absolutely there we go 
That's very helpful to have that down on the cow farm. So yeah, this is, a, I suppose, a very quick showcase of the animal farm down here, the uh, multi-animal farm. Now, another interesting thing that we do have on the farm here is a specific mineral feed silo. So, go over to this management point here and you can, instead of having to go into the base game stuff and uh, purchase loads and loads of pallets, because mineral feed, you do go through it really quite quickly and if, uh, if you have a lot of cows, you end up having, it does become a very regular and in my personal opinion, a bit of a monotonous thing having to constantly purchase many many pallets of mineral feed but from here you can get you can purchase anything from a litre to 40,000 litres at 52,800 pounds so it's a very helpful thing to have on the farm I've got to say and obviously standard your know, unloading trigger there so but it is absolutely gorgeous again forgive me for repeating myself here because I'm, I'm just astounded every, every building you see on the map has been custom made so I'm going to do my best to uh Take us around to as many of them as I can and just showcase them off to you. Now up here we have another water point for the cows. Animal water drain there. Very nice. Another interactive door that takes us back into the upper mezzanine area of this uh, this barn. Again, really nice. I suppose you could use that for pallet storage, bale storage, vehicle storage, whatever you, uh, whatever you need to store. But yeah, let's uh, take a quick uh, shortcut down here. Very nice. Right, okay, so that's a very brief rundown of the Mundenhof. So I think we will take a carry on up the road and make our way over to the Lindenhof. I'm on the way to Lindenhof here. Lindenhof, sorry. I can't uh, be criminal of me not to uh, just show you a little bit of the, the road layout and the, uh, the way the map feels in areas like this, nice hilly areas, it's not just a flat plain map of course, there are some pretty steep ups and downs and that particularly beautiful building that you see in front of us, that is a cow barn. <laughs> Again, absolute masterpiece if you ask me. So here we are, we've got the uh, sign there in front of us, the Lindenhof. Honestly, what a beautiful area this is. Now, forgive me, I couldn't tell you what kind of style of design this cow barn is. There we go, let's turn that off, but uh, it really is a work of art. Just look at that. Very, very special. <laughs> to put your cows in. <laughs> so, this is a cow farm, and uh, it has comes with the biogas plant as well. So again, we have our usual um, trigger points here. I can't interact with them at the minute because there's nothing going on on this uh, farm at the minute. Though we haven't got any cows, or manure, or slurry, or anything like that. So let's. Uh, well, there we go. That's a, a door. Looks like it's made of canvas. See, look at that. The, the texture of that genuinely just looks like canvas. It's incredible. Wow. So this is a cow barn. As you can see, now it, this one does have a little bit of technology in it. It does have the automatic feeding points. Let's bring up the F1 menu. Oh, it's not, not bringing anything up at all. Let's just open this door here. Oh, I can see the animal point there just uh, in front of us. Let's just squeeze under there. So we have a milk loading point there, of course. Let's open that gate up. Animal loading area. Okay, so open animal dialogue. Let us purchase... So this holds 250 cows, so we'll, we'll buy 50 for now. Again, just for the purposes of the demonstration. And they have this beautiful custom, custom pasture on the hillside here. Absolutely amazing, it really is. Now, from what I've seen so far from all of the animal barns, let's bring that little uh, heads-up display box there. We, you do have to give them all water, obviously food, straw, and it gives you your slurry and manure quantities there, and it's connected to hay salad straw and mineral feed areas as well so let's go have a look for them now this is our automatic feeding robot so of course you load them up with your silage with your straw and with your hay there should be some mineral feed somewhere as mineral feed oh there we go mineral feed storage loging it's a bit of a spelling mistake there <laughs> And again, an area point here for loading your water. 
Now, if you were to take this on as your farm, as the previous ones, you've got plenty of areas for storage. What have we got here? We've got a silo here. We have a million, one million litre capacity silo here. So on the three farms that we have on the map, we go from 200,000 in the small farm uh, that you start off with in new farmer mode, uh, 500,000 at the Mundenhof and a big one million up here at Lindenhof. Nice area for vehicle storage there. Excellent stuff. What have we got here? Management. Oh, so, right, so this is a wardrobe point there and a sleep trigger. Now, so these are the two, as it says in the information uh, for the map on Edo Mod's website, there are two uh, purchasable houses and popping very quickly into the map PDA. Let's scroll quickly upwards. Those two houses are one up here in area C there and the other one is down here. There we go, out there, mines are Hoff. So, up here at the Linden Hop as well, you also uh, own the biogas plant. I say you own the biogas plant, that's just... Right, so, if you were to purchase the land like I have just very quickly done, again, going into the map PDA, now I've purchased this plot of land, but you still don't own the biogas plant. So, is that what that is there? I think let's just yeah that's what it is there so purchase the land that the biogas plant is on for 34,800 you buy the BGA for 500,000 okay there we go but what a beautiful biogas plant it is again it comes with the a nice custom silage bunker nice and big area for loading your slurry into there and an area for pulling the digestate out there and this area obviously for loading in your manure and silage bales etc potentially but again just a beautiful mod on its own that if you ask me it really is we have a lovely vehicle storage barn over here as well by the looks of things let's just open this nice big door Vehicle storage and, of course, a vehicle workshop as well. But they really are just beautifully authentic building buildings. Like I said before, I cannot imagine the amount of time it's taken to create just one of these mods, let alone the whole map. It is absolutely incredible. So, there is a very brief rundown, in my opinion, of the three main farm areas. The Mainzerhof, the Lindenhof, and the Mundenhof. So, let's jump back into our tractor now, and we'll go and have a bit of a drive around, and have a look at a few of the beautiful custom buildings on this map, and a few more of the uh, production points. Right. Here we are, approaching the first of our main grain cell points on the left-hand side there. This one is called Agriland, so let's just hang a left here. We're pretty much on the uh, far right-hand edge of the map. But yeah, again, another beautifully constructed and built mod here. Quite simply, a grain cell point. Pull over here with your trailer, tip your grain, job done really really nice so I'll just show you where we are on the map actually forgive me so we are we came from up here this is the Lindenhof the area we've just been to driven down the hill all the way down here I'm going to right come all the way up here so this is the Agriland so we're going to take a very quick trip up here to the Gasthaus Alter Hush which is again just another very simple cell point Spin around here. But it's worth looking at each and every one of these, it really is. And here we are. Gasthaus Alter Hirsch. So, quite simply, another beautiful little cell point, cell area trigger there. Lovely view from the top of the hill here over the map. Most of the map anyway. Very, very nice. But just look at it. Absolutely beautiful. It's like a bit of a coffee hop, coffee shop, this thing, I think, from the outside. 
you can uh, hear a load of voices inside. It's got those nice custom, uh, custom people's voices inside. A game of chess going on here. <laughs> nice little attention to detail. Don't think you can you can't open any of the doors here or anything. It's not an interactable building, but uh, just a simple cell point. But what a cell point, nonetheless. Right, back down at the bottom of the hill. Again, just to get our bearings. That's where we've come from, right up there, somewhere just down the road. Um, we have a water point here, water fill point at this beautiful old mill. Need to stop and have a quick look at that uh, water wheel there, because that's not something we, I know it's only in game, but we, uh, it's not something you see many, much of in this uh, modern day, is it? But uh, yeah beautiful old authentic water wheel there this is meant to be a kind of a, a bit of a hydro dam isn't it I think perhaps but yeah really really nice and around here again this is a cell point I think it's a production area that you can purchase well this is the grain mill isn't it management point by the grain mill so yeah there we go let's have that for 200,000 your standard output areas and your input and cell areas as well. Really very, very nice. Can we open these doors? No. Either way though, beautifully authentic building. It really is. I bumped into that. Uh, ah, lamp post. <laughs> Now there is obviously, as you may you may well have seen, there is a train that uh, dots around the map. I, as far as I can tell, there isn't any uh, cell points on the train like we have had on previous maps um forgive me if i'm wrong with that but i can't i can't seem to see any area to rent the train or anything like that it's just a, a decorative thing whizzing around the map which is fine so i'll show you where we are on the map at the minute this is where we are still roughly towards the uh, bottom right hand side ish of the map so i'm going to i'm going to take a quick journey now in fact which way am i going to go i want to show you the the chicken shed down here because that's a point of beauty so we'll uh take a quick trip and i'll pick you up somewhere down here near the chicken shed right here we are at the chicken farm so as you can see we have on our right hand side a lovely big particularly big in fact just turn that off uh machinery shed and workshop Looks like we can get some pretty big equipment in here. It's very nice and light and airy. Workshop trigger, of course, in the bottom uh, bottom corner over there. Yeah, this is a good size. And again, a beautiful building. Just aesthetically absolutely gorgeous. But check this out. Look at this chicken pen. What a place. Now, we've got some chickens in here at the minute. Sure, if I, can I get in there? I'm not too sure. Can we, there we can. Yeah, we can open the uh, open this gate. But this is a work of art. It really is. Wander around inside it. Look at that. It's just <laughs> forgive me. I'm just you know I'm just amazed at the the, the the skill of the modders that we have for this game. This is testament to uh, Edo Mod and to Esbafo Farming. This is absolutely beautiful. What a thing. What a thing. We've got the feed system here for the chickens, of course. The little uh, little individual feeders fed through the pipe from the big uh, silo there at the end. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Now this... Uh, chicken pen i believe holds 300 chickens let's just close that gate yeah 300 so we've got we've got 50 in there at the minute but it'll take a quarter a, a total of 300 what a thing though what a thing right so where are we now on the map we are down here at the chicken farm we're going to take a quick journey up here what have we got coming up here we have that looks like the animal dealer and a place to sell your bales and of course the uh, the vehicle shop so we'll uh, drive on a bit further down the lane i'll pick you up in a second
Right, here we are. Lovely uh, petrol station there. Obviously, for petrol. And if we hang a left in here, this building here, as you can probably tell, is our vehicle dealership. What a dealership. Just look at that. It is just astounding. So, let's pull up here. Looks like we've got ourselves a bit of a workshop in here. Yeah, so we can uh, repair our own vehicles if need be. There we go. Yep, yeah, lovely stuff. Now, these is, this is an interesting one. I've seen this on a couple of maps before. I know we, on other maps in the past, sometimes when there's display vehicles outside, they tend to be slightly low-res versions, but I'm pretty sure that these are these look to be proper in-game models. Full high-resolution versions that you can actually interact with. You can't get in them. If I bring up the heads-up display there, when normally when you walk up to your own vehicle, you get the little information box in the right-hand corner, don't you? But we don't get that from here. But you can tab through to these vehicles, and you can drive them, but you can't do anything with them, and it can't. I don't know whether it bugs out when you get in them, but you can't get in and out of them properly. But just to have these full high-resolution proper 3D models just as display vehicles is uh, something else, quite frankly. Uh, I'll show you what I mean in a second by the uh, tabbing through, but coming into the uh, the actual inside dealership here, some nice equipment on display, a nice uh, big Fent 9PL harvester. We've got a Fent Katana Forage harvester as well. Again, a proper model, doesn't it? Uh, cultivator. Just again, this is all display stuff in it, and the MB uh, MB track, Mercedes tractor. But here is our shop, as it were. Just go to there. There we go. Just takes you into the in-game menu, so uh, particularly. But yeah, if I uh, if I just now just press tab and go through it, now you'll see I'm in this this class tractor. Now I can't get if I if I get out of it, I just disappear. And that's kind of it. If I then click to the next one, I can't get out of it. I can start it. I can drive it. Back and two, I can move it around and drive it about. But I can't, again, if I get out of it, I just you just vanish. And then it kind of freezes. So, if I get out, vanish, and now that's me trying to move around and I'm just not there. I, I'm left with no option but to click to the next one get out of it vanish next one <laughs> but uh, i do have the park vehicle mod on so you can just remove those from the tabable vehicle list if need be so if uh, again if you've got the, the park vehicle mod that's a very helpful thing to have but yeah so let's just flick through back to my own stuff my fiat there we go back to normal so that's the vehicle dealership i suppose while we're here we may as well have a quick peek next door. What have we got here? We've got the uh, Schwarzwald Milch. Um, let's go to the map very quickly. This is a production system. This is the dairy. Okay, yeah. I suppose ending in the word Milch. That was a clue to that one. Again, can be purchased for 250000 There we go. Again, a beautiful building. Nice uh, bike rack out there. And what we've we got here, let's just... Uh, run across the railway line and this is the animal dealer again beautiful buildings and i do i'm quite a fan of this big text we've got this massive text across the roof across the roof sorry the vi market vi marked uh, bureau there bureau can we open the door no but still this is your animal dealer and when you go to this obviously the animal pens that you own come up here so you can go into it and place and remove and sell the animals that you, that you have in your current owned animal stables pen so that's excellent and the cell area here this is the bale cell point but you've got to agree, you've got to agree with me eh? it's absolutely gorgeous it really is so where next so well, let's have a quick check onto the map here what have we got up here? This, I believe, is the that's the sawmill, the bakery, wood chip sales, and another grain cell point. 
But what we have over here is this massive vineyard empire. So I think we're going to go and take a trip up there because that in itself is, again, another visual piece of beauty. So let's go jump back in the fit and I'll uh, pick you back up there in a few moments' time. Right, here we are. This is the big vineyard operation that we've got going on on the map. Now, as I said in the uh, map information, we have white grapes and we have red grapes as well. So, uh, I'll just very quickly again pop into the map PDA and that is uh, highlighted by the fact we've got the normal grapes here in the purple colour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fields of those. And these are the white grapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the uh, the 15 red and white grape vineyards that was uh, mentioned in the map information. Now, forgive me, the, uh, the FPS lags a bit when we're around here. Like, just purely because of uh, the huge amount of grapes that we've got going on around us. But look at this building again another work of art absolutely beautiful and it's got some really really nice little uh, bits of detail in here that i'm very much a fan of so let's just park this down here turn that off no just turned you off thank you there we go so here we are this is what's called the wine cellar so let's go to this management point we can buy the wine buy the wine cellar building for 200,000 there we go we'll have that so that it so that it appears in our production systems menu so what have we got going on down here this is an output area we have an area for loading or selling depending on whether you own the place or not and we have again just a lovely little uh, attention to detail but this map of Germany on the floor and the colour chart that's written on the wall here refers to, I believe, areas around Germany. I'm not, I'm, I can't honestly say and understand the significance, but uh, yeah, it's just a really nice little attention to detail, don't you think? Really quite cool. So, now we own this as a production system, let's jump into the production systems menu and have a quick look at it, shall we? Right, here we are in the production systems menu and specifically looking at the wine cellar. Now, you'll have to forgive me, ladies and gentlemen, I have not spent a huge amount of time in the entirety of Farm Sim 22 within production systems. But, and this one, this bit does confuse me a little bit. So we've got here empty wine bottles, white wine barrels, white wine and red wine. Even though there, the white wine symbol is red and the red wine symbol is white. Maybe they are a little bit mixed up. But we have empty wine bottles here. That seems to be the recipe for empty wine bottles is grapes and empty wine barrels. Now, empty wine barrels, the white wine bottles, um, can both be purchased through the in-game uh, palette menu purchase point. So if you go into here, go to palettes, scroll along there. As you can see, you can buy empty wine barrels, white wine bottles, and meta parts and firewood, which are part and parcel to do with the sawmill. So, but going back into here, so empty wine bottles, the recipe for that is using grapes and empty wine barrels. And from that, you get empty wine bottles and grape production waste. <laughs> That's, it just confuses me that. And again, the same for white wine, white wine barrels. Uh, but to make wine, regardless of which order the uh, the colour of the logos are, uh, grapes and bottles, which you can, white wine bottles, which you can purchase in pallets from the in-game menu. And from that, you get wine and grape production waste. So... <laughs> Forgive me if I'm missing something there, but uh, yeah, it just it confuses me a bit. But either way, regardless of uh, how I'm viewing that and reading that, it's still a beautiful area and I'm sure it works perfectly well. And you do have quite a few fields with that, although we, we don't own those yet. I think you do buy those individually. Let's just very quickly back into the map PDA. You don't have to buy them all in one go, I don't think. So the f yeah, there you can. So you can, you can pick and choose the areas you want to purchase so you don't necessarily have to have them all you can just have a few, one or two of them so that's the wine cellar where next again forgive me let's pop back into the map pda um 
let's go and uh, let's go check out the sawmill and the bakery and the wood chip and the other grain mill over there right here we are on the left hand side here we have the sawmill which i do own i did just buy that as i was uh, mucking around with the wine cellar on the right hand side here let's just turn the engine off for that thing there on the right hand side here we have the bakery again you can quickly purchase that for two hundred thousand. go very quickly into the production systems menu and i'm pretty sure when it comes to the bakery there we go yeah traditionally making bread and cake so that's all good over here we have the sawmill now like i say i just just uh, purchased this but going into the sawmill there as you can see you can make uh, planks and firewood from trees you can make wood or meta parts from wood and meta parts you can buy those meta parts in the in-game menu again purchasing those and from that you get uh, empty wine barrels and firewood and of course you can just make go straight from tree logs wood to firewood as well making use of those products now and over here we have another grain cell point so let's just take a quick trip around there and figure out which way is best to access that around here yeah there we go so, crossing over the railway line here is this train cell point the railway line crosses under there but I can't seem to there's no option I haven't found anywhere yet anyway to rent the train so this is just a cell area. Let's just jump into the map PDA very quickly. Just check where we are. Yeah, Agro DE. There's no train cell points. So maybe that again. Maybe that's just decorational. Um, yeah, there's no area. I haven't seen any trigger point for being able to rent the train. I think maybe that is just decorational there. The train looks like it would pass through it, but it does look a very small aperture to be honest. There, I'm not sure if the train it even fit but <laughs> by the way this is a grain cell point but again a beautifully made grain cell point if i don't say so myself really really nice and we've got these uh, this kind of like derelict train yard next to it as well which is very authentic very very nice indeed I thought I'd jump very quickly into flight mode just to show you. We're in the little town area here where the starter farm is. There's a couple of little cell points here. There's one directly below us there. One just there. And we have one just over the top here called uh, the beer garden, I think. That is uh, those three cell points just for a few of the various products that you can sell in the game. Potatoes, eggs, flour, bread, butter, to name a few. Um... But one of the reasons why I'm in flight mode is I think uh, a little bit earlier in the, on this map tour, I think I made a little bit of a, an incorrect statement talking about the two purchasable f uh, houses on the map. I incorrectly assumed that they were the two that came with either the starter farm or the Lindenhof farm over at the uh, top end of the map there. But at the top of the map here, if I could very quickly just jump into the map PDA, what we have bringing up the farmland you have this tiny little plot of land and this ta this plot of land which comes with this area of land here but these are two beautifully authentic oldie worldy farmhouses and that's essentially what they are you have the uh, they both come when you purchase the land with a sleep trigger and a wardrobe trigger and that's this one here so if you if if any of you wanted to start a, a real nice start from scratch as it were with essentially nothing perhaps you've got this little house that's a possibility to start with again as a lovely little uh, storage garage here which is quite frankly beautiful and you also have one nestled away in the trees just down the road here so again both come with a sleep trigger and a wardrobe trigger I'm not sure if we can we open that door. No, 
No, we can't open that one. That one doesn't uh, necessarily have any kind of a workshop with it. But again, it's just a starting from scratch, properly starting from scratch with very little was uh, your thing. Let me just turn that torch off. Take away flight mode just for a second. But uh, yeah, no, we can't open, can't interact with those doors at all. So this this house doesn't come with any kind of a garage area at all. But either way. But you've got a wardrobe trigger and a sleep trigger there. As I say, if you wanted to start from absolute zero, just in a house running maybe a farmhand role play or something, perhaps this would be an ideal living place for you, perhaps. And jumping very quickly back into the map PDA in the farmland menu here, as you can see, just going through the rough price guide for the areas of land. So the biggest field, I think, on the map here is plot of land 38. This costs 319,700 uh, down to some of the smallest ones here. Plot 27 there at 54,000. 57 here looks relatively small. 68, 42's there, quite small. 41,700. So yeah, a lot of affordable plots on here. As I say, that's the biggest one at 319. Plot 51 here, which looks like it consists of two fields. That's cheaper at 311. And obviously the forestry areas, you've got... Uh, I think it's eight of them in total, isn't it? We've got this one here, plot 71. That starts at 52,600 up to what I think is the biggest one down here, 194,960. So nothing too expensive. What's that? 78,740. Yeah, so this one's the cheapest one, I think, plot 71. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Deutschland by Edo Mod and Esbafo Farming, an absolutely beautiful, authentic, detail and atmosphere rich map for Farm Sim 22. I absolutely adore this one, I really do, I think it's a very, very special map for us all to have, so I heartily recommend you uh, click on the link that will be in the video description below, go download it, give them a PayPal donation if you can, I think it's uh, for what the price of a small coffee or something, I think it's absolutely worth it. So. I really do hope you've enjoyed this uh, map tour for Deutschland. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time watching the video, ladies and gentlemen. As always, if you're new to my channel and you like my content, you like the way I'm doing things, please consider hitting that subscribe button and jumping on board and joining the channel. Please give the video a like if you can, as that do, does do wonders for the channel, helps the YouTube algorithm do its thing. And as always, there are a host of links in the video description below with my Giants Partner promo code. If any of you are in the market for purchasing a DLC, an add-on, a season pass, or even the full game itself, and you like the idea of helping a content creator out at the same time, I would be hugely appreciative. So thanks for your time watching the video again, ladies and gentlemen. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.